What up, everybody? Can be it back again. Uh, this time it's going to be, from what I believe, the best starter base in Seven Days to Die. And this has kind of gone overboard because I was able, and you can see in my Let's Play, solo Let's Play, um, that I have on my channel, uh, I got an early auger on day six from the traders. Um, and this is like massive compared to, to what it is. Uh, what you can do with it but what I like about this base let me get down here um, is everything is scalable everything that I've done is scalable so depending on how much you can get done or how what you what you're able to get in a certain amount of time now some of these are um, some of them are still I did the bottom row I think of steel and these two top ones um, are uh, scrap iron and I painted them to be steel so you can kind of uh, so it all looks the same so uh, I believe this is a 21 by 21 so it's one two three my my regular block is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20, 21. So it's a 21 because you wanted an odd number so you can make um, exact um, uh, holes in the middle. And you'll see what I'm talking about when you wanted an odd number. So it's 21 in the outer. So that's 21 by 21. It's a big square. And that's uh, so it's 21, 22, 3, 24, 9, 25, 26, 27. So it's a 27 by 27 outlay with a 21 by 21 square in, inner block uh, two rows of uh, spikes and then two rows of spikes on the top there um, and this looks like it's lower but this is technically a block uh, uh, right here so what they'll do is they'll come and they'll just pop up here so you don't have to worry about um, uh, zombies, you know, kind of hit going on here, hitting this, and then digging into the side of your your building. Uh, as you can see, these are a bunch of watering hordes. So I've gotten it within day 18. I was able to get this um, all this done. Just and it just depends on when you can get a um, an auger to show up. And the auger is really the main thing because I got the auger, and then from that I was able to do my mine, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but so here we go. Here's my home. This is an opening over here with my bike. And then over here is my horde base. Well, what I like to do is I've connected everything. I have a straight line that goes underground, connects to my horde bunker, and you'll see what I've done to this. So everything, uh, like I was saying, is scalable. So my that's a 21 by 21, and that was because I got an early um, uh, um, auger. Oh, let me get a... Um, and I, I kind of, you couldn't just make this uh, sand. Uh, I decided to fill it in. I usually do a three by three wider, but it was a little faster to do it this way. And you can leave it loose, so this could all be the sand on the outside. And plus, digging in the desert, uh, you want to get near a big city, and that's where you can usually find a lot of flat land. So it's a lot of flat land, so if hordes come, they're not going to dig into the side of shit. Um, uh, this big city, this is where I started in this big city. I was able to travel here a couple of traders right there and there um, Another little city. So this was like a perfect spot and it's easier to dig in the sand in the desert So that's why I was able to do so much uh, And plus you get sand and rock or stone. So that's key for uh, cement um, so uh, I did uh, a one by three so it's three high this is where my uh, goes all the way down to bedrock. We're at minus 19. I think it's minus 57 is bedrock. And I've, I've found a couple of. Uh, I'll show you. I found a couple of uh, holes. So this was a bit of uh, I think iron or something over here. And then this is I found another pocket. I've kind of picked some of it. This is uh, iron and sh oil shell. So. And then from here, you see how you see that? That's grass. There's something weird about the new 16. That's grass on the surface, able to shine shadows down here for some reason. Um, 
I always like putting ramps down here because now also you can kind of if you get stuck with that little triangle bit like that uh, it'll glitch you and then it'll glitch you up into the and it, may, it could kill you glitch you up into the like top row uh, top two levels or so and you're stuck in there so we'll go down that way towards the horde base so everything's connected so I don't have to worry about going outside um, so this is a 21 by 21 with a uh, the uh, uh, bulletproof glass on the outside that glass you saw and a uh, farm on top um, as you can see everything's really symmetrical here I got and it's just I knew exactly what I wanted to do so I wasted no time I wasted no resources so I have all these engines that I, I was able to accrue early I, I made just and as soon as I got one I was able to get another and just like um, I used more iron to make more iron uh, forges and then so on and so forth and it just builds up faster and faster so I started off with two iron I think two um, uh, forges for the stone two forges for iron and then I, I built up so what you can see here is all these are stone 16 or 6,000 and each one of them so 6,000 and I just fill them your wood frames give you more uh, burning time than just uh, two wood equals one wood frame and one wood frame burns longer than two wood so so all of these have 6,000 everything's topped off I have uh, let's see all right so that's these four are iron uh, the, these two are brass these two are lead these two are for glass for um, uh, glass jars and a, uh, the uh, bulletproof glass uh, uh, this is really for like farming fertilizer and shit this is my farming here uh, my wood and wood frames are here so that's your stone your sand and that's could be these two storages and the two above them as well so and then sand here for uh, uh, concrete mixing which I is what I use for these to mix it um, cement there's concrete um, let's go ahead and start getting these going and I'll show you I should have a screamer show up uh, and show you the the defense of the screamers and why I wanted to use bulletproof glass you don't have to um, like I said everything's scalable you can just use regular wood at the top but I want to be able to see out and see what's where the um, screamers are and I wonder if this is faster broken glass because you can put crushed sand to make glass I think and this doesn't uh, smelt down as fast to make the the, gr the glass I think this is faster and but you can scrap this to make it so if you scrapped it you make glass so I think it's better to scrap it make the glass and uh, uh, and then put the glass in here and smelt the glass so we're gonna turn all these on we're gonna have a bunch of screamers show up so it's a 21 by 21 um, you can make it any odd number you can start off if you don't if you get it late if you don't want to do the first two hordes are pretty easy to not have to worry about a, a horde base but uh, kind of after that you kind of need to get on your toes or uh, you know uh, get off your ass and start making something so um, you can do a seven by seven you can do you know five by five but that's a really cl close in seven by seven and so forth so seven and nine by nine eleven by eleven thir uh, thirteen by thirteen fifteen by fifteen and so on and so forth I was able to do twenty one because uh, I wanted uh, you know so it's just, I figured the the way I wanted to lay out everything uh, 21 by 21 is the best so there's my processed foods my raw foods uh, two um, uh, uh, fire uh, I think it's a, it's a fire pit campfire campfire so four um, workbenches three chem stations and then going from here I have raw medical supplies 
and you use those to create the processed uh, medical supplies. Just like here, you have clay, iron, the raw iron, refined iron, brass. So you'll see there what I've been able to do. Um, okay, so and then here uh, for your everything that I use the uh, chemistry stations for glue, murky water, then that makes paper, and there's where the paper storage is. Coal nitrate, that makes gunpowder, and that still uses this. Oil shell and tin cans, use the oil shell and the tin cans to make oil cans for repair kits, or use the oil shell to make gas, and there's the three slots for gas. Now on this side is you have your miscellaneous, your kind of catch-all stuff, my building materials, my auto parts, uh, clothes slash armor, and then the cloth from that to make repair kits. Mainly because if you, you scrap the clo uh, clothing or armor, you're going to have cloth or the the uh, f military fiber. Uh, melee weapons and tools, guns slash parts, and then ammo. I thought, oh, I think I hear a screamer. And then two boxes for ammo. So that's basically the, the base here. And then I have, so it's 19 by 19, so it's, one, two, three, four, five. So five slots, and then on the sixth, I have a pole. Same thing from this corner, five slots, and then the sixth, I have a pole. Same thing, five and six, five and six over there. And then from the exact middle, uh, a little further back, so it's the, the middle, and then one, two, three, four, and then the fifth slot, I have the uh, reinforced concrete uh, you know center bar here and then kind of the this is all bulletproof glass let's see where these and so I wanted to have something where I can kind of stand over these spikes to see what's standing on them without being noticed because usually I had these when I do an underground uh, farming these are all ready to go the mushrooms uh, when I have my underground farming I had this but if I came out and did it they would still be able to see me through here and try to spit down at me so I wanted it up off the ground but I still wanted to see um, to use this so I could have a built in farm so I didn't have to go outside to farm and then I wanted to be able to see uh, where the, the screamers were so right on each corner and then uh, in the middle I have pillars and it's one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four, high, and then the fifth is the block for the next level. Um, and then I think it's one, two, three, four, and then the fifth slot, a pillar, and then the, a pillar exactly in the middle. Fifth from the corner, pillar, same thing over there, 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 and there. Uh, and it was just to put support for this iron bar. I just didn't want it to fall in on me. Um, I forgot to see what was the what's the height one one two three four so it's four high and then I got all fertilizer for the uh, the farm here now the if you did these plates there um, it's like, like a thin plate that you can pr uh, put down which is what I have at the bottom here and on the side but technically it pick, it takes up the slot here this pane but if you try to do a pane in the corner, they don't have one. It'll either be an open bottom or one side shows, but they have this curved glass. So I want to use the curved glass so I can stand here. Ah, you dumb bitch. So I'll put the square block so I can, might as well just jump up. Because I did that, I, I put the same thing at the, the top here. Uh, the curved glass, but I put blocks so I can uh, what I'm gonna, what I can do, and this is yeah, four tall, five tall. Uh, I got a hatch for the top, and I'll show you a horde day uh, towards the end of the video. So each pillar, at the corners and the pillars, I have one. So if I can come out here, and I could shoot at anything on the sides if they're not dying, and I have a little three block corner here so I'll come out and shoot anything on the edges and then if anything's like right below me I can get down on the middle ones 
and shoot at that corner. So it's kind of perfectly symmetrical and able to kill anything from and not having to go directly outside. So, so that's good. We got that. Uh, so she can't see me because of the uh, bulletproof glass. So she's not going to scream. And I hated having to go outside and try to farm. And I couldn't see where if screamers were. If they could have... If I had my hatch over here, but the screamers were on the other side, I would be fine. But if they were right here, I couldn't do anything. I, if I went out, they would scream and it would be a hassle. So, so boom. Just died just standing on the spike there because she didn't see me. I was undetected. So, Alright. We'll do a horde in a minute. So we got everything cooking. Uh, all the supplies ready to go. Uh, there's our uh, our uh, sleeping bag, and we'll show you. I could have gotten this a little faster if I didn't do this. Oh, there's another screamer up there. If I didn't do the uh, the walls, uh, you at least want to do the bottom because, like I was saying, you could glitch up. But uh, I did the walls here, um, and the ceiling. You really don't have to do that. If you're like really stressed for time, but I was close. I was close because I got the the auger so early. Because I also got a uh, a treasure map, so that's what gave me a lot of extra cash. Um, I I really was able to get on the ball and start making a bunch of shit. So all of this, uh, I think most of it is uh, the the steel, but I wanted to make it look symmetrical until I could upgrade it. It's all reinforced concrete that I painted still up until where this wood stops up here. So wood stops and then this is all steel. And I just wasted it all upgrading this because I want this to be as strong as possible from a horde bunker. And I'll show you up top what it is. Um, there's your relays up here are poles for four shotgun turrets in each corner. And this design and then I have five blades in the middle. So if, usually the shotguns take care of them, but if they get towards the middle, I, call, I kind of stand here during the horde night. And if they they don't they get through, the the blades are up one, so it's at uh, head height. So it usually chops their head off. It doesn't. If it's down one, it chops their legs off, makes them gob them down, and then chops them up with some more. But it takes more of the durability away from the blade. So it kills them a little faster that way. All right, so I have a switch where I can turn. Let's see. There's mine. That I just have barely enough power. It's 244, and I have, I can generate 289. All right, so I can turn. So this one's just for the blades. So if I want to run the blades and not the shotgun turrets, because usually uh, wait for the shotgun turrets for the uh, horde, and I'll just keep these like this. Um, so if I'm over here working, especially when you're building this, I build this and then as I'm upgrading everything, I'll keep these because the hordes, wandering hordes will come in and you just let them run into these blades. And then I can uh, individually turn the uh, shotgun turrets on and off. So I could turn both off for right now. Uh, uh, during the horde, I'll use an axe, which I think I have over here. So this is stuff I have to repair everything for the Horde Knight. I have extra gas. I have found a lot of oil shell. So I have a lot of extra gas for to resupply. Uh, it's concrete in case something goes wrong. Um, re, uh, rebar frames. Uh, and then I'll use this because it reaches better because I don't need any more um, fertilizer for the... Um, you get bones for this but you don't get... Um, the rotted flesh and the rotted flesh is what you use to get fertilizer, but I don't need it anymore. So what you'll do is you'll uh, you'll hit E. You'll see in a second. Um, hit E, uh, and then you'll chop it. And this has a better reach and can hit between these better. Other stuff will hit this, and like it does a side swipe, so it'll hit this pillar and kind of fuck up your durability. But you want to clear this so when if one dies on top of that one, the the one that just died will disappear so you get more loot if you clear it while during the horde so that's what we'll do almost the end of the day and I'll I'll just uh, 
pause the recording, and then uh, when the 21 Day Horde shows up, I'll show you uh, what it is. So I, I put all this as still, everything upgraded. I wanted it all the way around that. No surprises, no whoopsie. None of that, no. So this is all still. And I wanted the smaller pillars, uh, the round ones, because they tend not to get stuck and hit these. They tend to like hit and then kind of roll off like that. You could put the the blocks down, the re, uh, reinforced blocks, concrete blocks, and then put the spikes around it, but they might get stuck here and then start beating it. So I just want to give them a chance to just turn. So this is perfectly head height. And there's the uh, nine. I, I said five, but that's actually nine. So you can scale this down. You can have one. You can have just four in each corner. You can have uh, five with you do one, two, three, four, five, like a cross. Um, so, yeah, so everything's independently done. So if this one gets uh, a, a cop blows up over here next to this relay, which I have extra um, next to that relay. Oh, shit, bitch. Um, you can... Uh, that will go down, but three other shotguns will uh, still be able to run. So I didn't want to jerry, uh, uh, not jerry rig, but, um, you know, daisy chain is what it is. Daisy chain all these up top. So in case I daisy chain everything to this, this one goes down, they all go down. So you don't want to do that. All right, so we'll be back in a second. Now I'm just going to show you a whole horde night. So be back. I'll see you in a sec. All right, so horde's about to start. Um, I forgot to mention that the uh, the base here. There's the the screaming sound to let you know the horde's ready. Oh, we need to get that turned on. And that guy. Um, this is a 15 by 15. Holy shit! Uh, five deep, five blocks deep, quarter blocks right here. Um, and the biggest thing is, there you go, eat that. The biggest thing is, um, since they can't attack down, uh, like they could in, or like the early, early alphas, uh, this is really going to do a lot against hordes, um, especially early on, uh, without spitting, especially spitting and exploding cop hordes, um. But by then you should have a sniper rifle and you should be able to take out the the um, the, the cops before they explode anyway. Um, and just you can sit here and you can just pick up all this. And usually they can fall through. They when they turn into the corpse like this, you can just when they turn to the corpse they jump up to the top. Uh, the the axe does give um, some of the the uh, oh shit the axe does give some of the uh, the uh, rot of flesh but I think it gives you more bones and so you can just walk around here pick up you can get a lot more of the uh, um, uh, the loot that you oh he's stuck in the ground and then you have a bunch of loot crates here wherever you want. Um, go ahead and do here because a bunch of them are going to fall over there. I got it on 64 Horde Blood Moon Spawn. And I think it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, storage cases. Shit. So we're going to start chopping these soon. See how that's ready to go. There you go. All right. And since they can't attack down, you're fine to just do this. And as they keep coming in to get killed, see how that one just broke apart? You just clear these out. Your uh, turrets take care of them. And your blades will take care of them. You just pick up the loot. And that way you gain a lot more loot, a lot more, uh, more, qu uh, quicker, more quickly, come on, bean dip, uh, quicker 
without really having to use any ammo, except for the turret ammo, um, without having to use much durability on weapons. And then you can use get your weapons up, you know, during the horde, or uh, during the days before the horde. And you just walk around here. And since it's so early, you don't have as much zombies that are going to come in each wave. So, And I had it on 64. So I don't know if they're... It's so many came and so they got killed so fast. And down here on your, your early, your game stage is so early that, um, or so low that it doesn't matter. Uh, you're probably not going to get too big of hordes. Let's see if I can kind of jump up. And, yeah, I can. There you go. can't really do it that see how that hit there the axe is just perfect for this oh a little stutter and so like on a day 21 horde if you only have one blade in the middle maybe one shotgun turret two shotgun turrets you're fine it'll it'll just take longer to get through the zombies that are going to come anyway and then you can just slowly and then slowly um oh there you go pick off the the zombies uh hack the bodies up pick up the loot no problem uh the ones that oh it's full uh the ones that you don't get you can just uh come up out of that that hole that you showed i showed earlier uh, when i went up top you just come out of there and then you get those ones on the side that you can't reach from down here uh, and also with just shooting the this kind of system um, with just shooting the uh, uh, using your sniper rifle to shoot a uh, the cop you don't have to use that much ammo and I've actually had had it to where I've actually gained more ammo than I actually shot down the horde just because of the system so efficient with the blades and the shotgun turrets and the shotgun turrets are fucking amazing they're usually really accurate to the point where if they don't shoot them the first time in the head usually the second shot will uh, they don't use that much ammo during the horde and it saves you from using durability of your really good weapons even though the weapons when you hit the repair on them, don't uh, degrade anymore. But you can see, like, uh, let's see what we got here. I just grab everything. I have enough space down here anyway. Uh, let's grab that there. So about midnight, day 21, 20, uh, yeah, day 21 horde. About midnight, you're done. That's even with the cleanup. So you don't have to spend like half the next day cleaning that shit up. And that's on the 64 Blood Moon. And let's look at uh, game stages. Oh. Is it back? Uh, 266 game stage. Just because I'm, I knew uh, exactly the the layout that I wanted to do. I'm gonna put it in the description as well. Uh, the the kind of layout I wanted to. And if you want, you could do this: dig, and just put um the wood frames on the top because you could shoot through the wood frames. And your first day, just dig a, a 15 by 15 hole, dig five down, put the wood frames on top. And I made it this uh, four down because that's the perfect amount of you being able to, to loot and then hack. One one further down, you have to like jump up. So that's why I did that. Um, it does look like, I think I've seen it. It does look like um, uh, the shotgun turrets do damage to your, these, uh, these are quarter blocks. Do damage to your quarter blocks as well as I think some of the stray shots hit the uh, the blades as well so we're just going to keep this running we're going to go out there let's turn off uh, the shotguns 
And what I usually do is I don't want anything in the way. I don't want ladders. So I'll just uh, wood frame myself uh, up. Uh, up here. Up to the shotguns to reload them. And on all that, uh, I'll show the uh, the amount of... Um, see, these I can reach from there. Maybe if it, the quarter blocks were on that side, and so the... This would be an empty slot instead of over here. It would be here. I might be able to reach that, but eh, no biggie. Uh, let's make sure we got... There you go. And there's the horde for the 21-day horde. I really didn't do anything. See, I think this is not really from the zombies. I think it's from the shotguns are doing these block damages. See, it's not really that much. And if they don't get killed by these shotguns right right because usually two of them shoot is so efficient like this covers this area like from that pillar uh, like in a straight line okay that was not a zombie like from here to straight line over that that it covers that one or that one covers that and then the same thing goes for this one from there to there and all this like a triangle and so if you're not killed by that, one or two hits from that is going to fucking kill you. So th these things are pretty efficient as well. Working in tandem. So without even like getting um, uh, the cop uh, zombies, especially the, I think they're irradiated now. Without them, because they usually drop a lot more ammo. Let's see what we got here. You know, usually you get more 762 ammo say I almost got 40 and I probably wouldn't even even shot wouldn't have even shot that much had it been a uh, a cop board so that's it we uh, survived the night uh, showed you from what I think is the best starter base for seven days to die especially digging down they can't uh, uh, come down at you so even if you didn't have one maybe one shock turret if not any shotgun turrets, a blade, because they're kind of okay to make. Uh, you should be doing all right. Oh, there's the, the little one zombie that comes every once in a while. Got killed by the uh, the blade. So that's going to be it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see me, how I would be able to create this on my own, I got my Let's Play on the channel. And uh, hopefully I got, I got another horde. Uh, like kind of easy horde uh, uh, defense that I want to do that really you can just do last day, last minute and kind of survive. So I'll try to have that one out next week. So that'll be it for now. Talk to y'all later. Peace. This episode brought to you by JavaWhacked.com, the official sponsor of the Can Bean Dip YouTube channel.